Uh, Darren Hancock with Drop the Hammer and Rick Alchin with Tough Monarch. Of course, Tough Monarch very much travelled. He's been uh, all around the place. Uh, raced, of course, in Addington during the Cup Carnival over there and uh, went to Melton, back home here now, and dropped the hammer. Well, he had a mission to go to Melton, didn't win there, but came back here two weeks ago and was victorious. This is a good race coming up. They're set to go. Eight runners racing. Getting a flyer at the start was Kofi Monarch. It began brilliantly and leads the way up in the air just after the start as more shades of gold. And from the deep, drop the hammer and tough Monarch are taking closer order. And in that firing line is Empire Bay, a real charge into that first turn. And the two big guns go toe-to-toe -to -toe in the early stages. Drop the hammer gets to the lead first, but tough Monarch comes up on the outside and they really put on some tempo in the early stages. Settling third is Empire Bay, Kofi Monarch fourth, and fifth is Conan Bridges. They work their way down the side of the track, and they were followed then by Iona Grinner. Next of all is Amanda Spur, and more shades of gold is at the tail of the field, and it's an Indian file pattern as they work into the home section now. And down towards the mile pole they run. It's Tough Monarch the leader. They've found their order and at the ha moment they're happy with where they are. That lead time was 49.2 and that's a pretty slick time here. Alchin has a look around and sees if anything's coming. Not at the moment. It's Tough Monarch four metres to drop the hammer. In third spot was Empire Bay. They were followed next of all by Kofi Monarch fourth. And then came on the inside Conan Bridge now taking off from the back Amanda's spur. Iona Grinner is back on the inside of it and getting the piggyback home now is more shades of gold. They work their way towards the bottom of the track now with 1,200 metres left to go. First quarter of the last mile, a leisurely 33-1 in the leader. Is still Tough Monarch by four metres. Drop the hammer second. Taking closer order on the outside is Amanda Spur. And then came on the inside Empire Bay. Next of all is More Shades of Gold. Gets a nice piggyback into the race. And then came Iona Grinner who worked one away from the inside. And it covers up Kofi Monarch. And last of all is Conan Bridge. And there'd only be about 15 metres covering the field as they work towards the 800 metre pole. Where the leader is still Tough Monarch. Still leads by about three metres. Second Posse is Amanda Spur, dropped the hammer, covered up third the inside, 31-8 the next splits of the half in 64-9, then more shades of gold, they were followed back on the inside, Empire Bay, Iona Grinner, Kofi Monarch and still last of all is Conan Bridge in a tight and compact bunch, they come towards the home corner now and he just starts to up the ante here on Tough Monarch, it leads by five metres on Amanda Spur, dropped the hammer, they were followed by more shades of gold, the next one peeling to the outside is the Mare Iona Grinner and Empire Bay's back on the inner as heads were turned for home and the leader is Tough Monarch just wanted to shift up the track a shade drop the hammer comes out after it up on the inside as Empire Bay they're stretching across the track drop the hammer and Tough Monarch joining in as Empire Bay it's Empire Bay and drop the hammer drop the hammer and on the inside Empire Bay Empire Bay finishes the better and Empire Bay Empire Bay beats drop the hammer tight go for third between Conan Bridge right off the track and Tough Monarch. They were followed by Iona Grinner, Kofi Monarch, more shades of gold, Amanda Spur back near the tail, 28.5 the split, and the rate 159.8, and Empire Bay and Jack Trainer too good.